If you're looking to install mods for Breath of the Wild, you're in the right place. In this video, I will show you exactly how to do that. These days, most Breath of the Wild mods make use of the tool BCML, which stands for Breath of the Wild Cross-Platform Mod Loader. This makes it easy to install mods with a single click, but there's one drawback. BCML is made in Python, which means in order to use BCML, you're going to have to install a Python coding environment on your PC. It's not that hard, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So we're gonna to go to python.org, the official website for downloading Python releases, and we're going to download a compatible version of Python that works with BCML. You can use any version between 3.7 to 3.9. For this tutorial, I'm picking version 3.8 once you've downloaded it, double click on the installer. Follow the instructions on the installer and it's going to install all these files in the root directory of your hard drive in a folder called Python 3.8 or whatever version you installed. Now let's make sure that Python was installed correctly. Go to your start menu and type CMD to bring up your command prompt. Right click on it and click run as administrator. In this window, we're just going to type Python and press enter. And it should present you with some text that says Python 3.8.1 or whatever version you used. And then these three corner brackets with a prompt that's waiting for you. This means Python was installed correctly and you can now run it on your PC. Press control Z, enter, and this will take you out of Python. Now we're going to install the mod loader. We're going to do this with a very simple command. The command is pip, which stands for package installer for Python, install, and then bcml, which is the Breath of the Wild cross-platform mod loader. And we're gonna press enter. Because I already have it installed, it tells me that I have all the files already on your computer, it's just going to go and download all those files. And we now have BCML on our computer. We can close our command prompt. To find BCML, we're gonna go to the scripts folder that's in our Python folder. To run BCML, we're simply just going to double click on the BCML application that we have right here. In my experience, I get this error that pops up, but luckily there's the backup, which is the bcml dash debug file that when I run this file, it runs bcml just fine. So now we have the script that's running bcml in our command prompt, and we have the application, which is the actual bcml application. And now we need to do a little bit of setup so that bcml knows where the game files are for adding mods. So first we need to tell bcml where our CMU application is located. We're gonna click on browse. We're gonna to go to our CMU folder and just click select folder. We don't have to select any actual application. We're just selecting the folder where the application is located. Next, we have to tell BCML where the base game is located, where the update is located, and where the DLC is located. And it's looking for a very specific file. So we're gonna click on browse and we're going to go into the games folder where we have our game files. And then we're going to go into the base game folder and then we're gonna go into the content folder. And now that we're in the content folder, we're just going to click select folder. And we get a little green check mark that shows that it worked. We're gonna do the same thing for the update directory. We're gonna click browse and we're going to go into the update folder and then go into the content folder and click select folder. And the same thing for the DLC directory. Click browse, go into the DLC folder, go into the content folder. And here we have three different folders. We're going to go into the 0010 folder and click select folder. And we get a green check mark. Click on the little save icon in the bottom right corner. And now we're ready to install mods. So let's pick a mod just for fun. Every enemy is a Lionel. This sounds insane. Let's give it a shot. We scroll down to the bottom and find the BCML file to download. I prefer to do a manual download and you can put this file anywhere you want. I'm just gonna save it in my downloads folder. Inside of BCML, I'm gonna click on explore 
and I'm going to navigate to where that mod file is. I double click on it, and you can see I get a prompt here to install the mod. I'm gonna click install, and in this case, this mod actually has a few options. I'll just select the default, I'll click OK, and now it's installing the mod. Now you can click OK or launch game. I'm just gonna click OK so I can show you one thing quick. There's a button down here that lets you launch Breath of the Wild. This is just going to open your CMU application and load Breath of the Wild right away. If you want, you can manually open CMU and launch the game. It will still run with your mods. When you launch the game through BCML, it's just a shortcut to getting into the game faster. It doesn't matter which way you load into your game. So here we are at Central Tower, which is usually surrounded by guardians. You could see one guardian is replaced by a Lionel. Another guardian is replaced by a Lionel. So it looks like this mod worked. And that's how you get mods for Breath of the Wild. Enjoy.